Come on, lay down. I know you're gonna dig this. Welcome to Truck and Travel. I'm Derek. I'm Cinnamon. All right, guys. Uh, today we wanted to kind of do something different using the Trucker Path app. Um, Cinnamon discovered accidentally uh, how you can save uh, points on uh, the Trucker Path app, which is, I think, very handy. And so, if you have a Trucker Path app or if you have a smartphone and you're following our videos and you kind of want to know the places we stop and you want to kind of explore it more with your satellite or I'm sorry with your smartphone you want to explore it more with your smartphone uh, download the trucker path app um, it's even useful for cars I'm sure you can check oh, out yeah. the parking areas and if you do RVing it's definitely handy but uh so what we're going to do is we're going to use a trucker path app today and we are going to add some of our favorite truck stops not all of them but we're, we made a list and uh, we're just going to sh share those with you so if you're on the road and you're stopping by these places you know keep your eyes peeled maybe you'll see us there yeah going inside to use the bathroom or get something to eat or do a driver swap or the other ones that get, are kind of frequent and, you maybe know. just getting fuel yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Sam, go ahead and give us give us one, and we'll try to find her on the old Trucker Path app. Okay, so this one might actually have been my favorite so far, just because of all the cool things in it. So it's a rest area in Arizona. Okay. Um, it's in I think it's pronounced Ganado. It's G A N A D O Arizona, and it's actually right when you cross over into Arizona from the New Mexico border. Um, and they have oh, just like the land formation of it, of the like. The mountains type you know i don't know what to call it um but it the is, scenery is awesome the scenery is awesome and we actually got some really good footage of it too um so that one i think that you know you could, there's actually a place where you can stand and you can get the uh state sign that you can actually take pictures with which is awesome now what i'm going to do is like you can't click on it and save it well uh, what we do is uh you just find a spot at the actual location, then you'll hold your thumb down. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the actual parking spot we were parked in just for fun. <laughs> and then at the bottom, you'll see it. There's a save button. You just hit that, and then it changes that little red dot to like a yellow star. So that's really cool. When you zoom out, you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to zoom way out and uh, just move. Yeah, see hey. how it just stays there. Isn't that pretty cool? That is awesome. Yeah. So if we're traveling in the general area, like where in the world was that? Or I want to get back there. How do I get back there? You'll be mm -hmm. able to see it. And that was off of, let me see here. Yeah, Interstate 40. So. And you can get to it from both sides if you're going eastbound or westbound. Um, the next one is North Baltimore, Ohio. Uh, there's a TA there that we actually like to uh, fuel up for whenever we're kind of done for the week and um well not necessarily the week but if we're around home we'll like yeah we'll, we'll make an effort to go there before we go home yeah um the staff is very friendly and uh they actually have when you walk through um like say you you're at the pumps or whatever and you walk into the store and you walk through the store part that has like all the food and stuff um it opens up into this really big lounge area where you, there's comfy chairs to sit in they have this like chess area so you can play chess with somebody they have this area where this guy makes these hats and stuff like uh actually that's where we had this one made. yeah that's yeah. where we had this one made and um they have i think there's a movie theater there too a, a room well, that you go in and can it's not a real movie theater it's like uh, a room with a tv yeah that's, a, that's what i meant lounge. but it has that um and then it has a room where you can play pool at and other games and stuff like this it's and a really we, nice place to relax we occasionally get like a dot inspection done at their little uh, garage and uh we really tires. like their their yeah. ta guys they're 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 it, good. It's, just, it's really convenient being close to home yeah 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 um, so the next one is TA outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Now, I don't know exactly how to pronounce this, but maybe Tuele, Tuele, <laughs> it's T-O-O-E-L-E. -E. <laughs> and you spell that with the question mark the way it question sounds. Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> so that's outside of Salt Lake City. And Derek actually, um, 
Derek really likes this one. Why do you really like this one? Oh, it's got amazing view of the, the mountains right behind it. So maybe, if, you know, park your truck, you know, a certain way where you can just stare at that if you're going to be awake a while. But yeah. Makes it's, it for a nice, oh, it's nice pretty. scenery if you're up front, you know, especially if you're. Yeah. The last you know. time we was here, we parked around this general area. It's pretty cool. Um, next one is, uh, actually, it's where the salt flats are. Um, it's the westbound rest area. We're at the salt flats. Um, and the reason I say westbound area is because there isn't a place for you to turn around. If you're coming eastbound, you have to, you, there's a, you know, rest area on that side, but you have to go up this big thing to, you know, on this big cliff to be able to look over where the salt flats are. Um, but if you're going westbound, you can actually walk on the salt flats, yeah. you know, if it's during the time of year where that's all solid and stuff. Yeah, but. so basically the one has the awesome side and the other one, they have like a stairs or something you can look from a distance, but yeah. the one you can actually touch and feel and walk. Yeah, it's the westbound it, one. And it's actually, there's a lot of times when we uh, first started coming out west and stuff, no matter, like we, we'd always mm -hmm. stop and check it out. And it's just so pretty and you beautiful You gotta be careful there. though. Um, I think, you know, when it rains and whatnot, you can probably get stuck out there. And I say that because whenever we go out there and the salt flats is dry, you'll see cars driving on it. Like they'll drive off of the parking spots and drive into it. Yeah. So I really want to do this one day. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> uh, so in Fernley, Nevada, there's a pilot that we like to go to in that area. Um, <laughs> I think it was funny because there was one time where there was a couch parked out there for like the longest time yeah. <laughs> behind the fuel line. Well, that was that was at the Loves. <laughs> oh yeah, that was at the Loves. Okay. But we we like that. We, we like that pilot. one too. Yeah. Yeah. They're we like the really close. The pilot there. Yeah. yeah. They're close to each other, but. Yeah. Um, the yeah. the reason why I really like like this pilot is because there is a uh, a truck wash there, which makes it really nice. But it, it's cool. We I. Personally, I like to park right around this general area. I don't know why, but <laughs> usually if you can just get a parking spot, that's always nice. Oh, but yeah. We, we like the, the loves, too. So the next one we're going to go over is in Eloy, Arizona. So it's E-L-O-Y. I think that's how you say it. Uh, but it's the loves. Um, and that's actually in the southern part of Arizona. And there's been a time where we actually were out there for a while and um, we took a long walk. Like uh, if you're at the Loves right there and you walk behind it and you keep going, there's like a railroad tracks, like a path along the railroad tracks back there. And then there's another path that we went to and we actually met someone. Uh, do you remember what his name was? That's okay know. if you don't, cause it was, it was a while ago and he was working on his car and we sat, you know, uh, we talked to him for like the longest time and they have these amazing, like this amazing hill that had these cactuses or cacti <laughs> on it. And I even took a picture beside a really, really tall one, which I really like that picture because it was just yeah. so, you know, big and it's beautiful out there. And it even had yeah. like was, on that hill, you could look out and see all these houses and stuff. And it, I want to say it was right along this general area that we was at, but even beyond that, you can see there's more mountains. So it's like really awesome oh, it's view. it's beautiful out there. Like we're currently in Nevada right now. And before, we got the load to come out west. I was really trying to go to Arizona because I really wanted to go back down here. We've only been down there once. Oh, so beautiful. Um, so, and, the, and that is south of uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, did you say what it was on or along? Uh, it, no. It's along Interstate 10. Okay. Um, another one is in uh, Mid. It's Midpoint Cafe in Adrian, Texas. Um, so this one, there is a truck stop near it. We're not really saying this place because it's the truck stop that we're interested in. Um, this is a place we like to stop at because the Midpoint Cafe, uh, I remember we like their food. Uh, there's this truck out there that you can sign and stuff because it's at, it's on uh, it's off of Route 66. And um, so it's the Midpoint of America. <laughs> and um, there's actually a truck stop not too far from it. It's it's a it's a little bit of a walk if you wanted to you know walk over to this cafe and stuff. But yeah. so and, and the funny thing about this this is the actual midpoint of Route 66. All of Route 66 from I think it starts in Chicago, goes to California. But anyways, the center point is right here, right in front of this cafe. 
and uh, there's even a line on the road that's the exact mark and then there's like this little like place you can stand in front of a sign that says route 66 me and cinnamon's gotten a picture in front of it yeah <laughs> and I, even for the longest time our uh truck and travel intro had me you know showing that line in front of route 66 oh, right there yeah. so yeah yeah so it's kind of a big deal for the channel so that's that's why i wanted to add it too yeah it's just fun <laughs> so speaking of texas in mount vernon texas uh there's duke's mount vernon uh, which is in Mount Vernon, Texas. Um, so there's some really, really cool stuff at this spot. Um, I, oh, yeah. I think this was like shortly after we did our switch one time. So um, I was still up and stuff and we we went in there and we just walked around. Like I remember getting like a, a pecan roll, you know, it's like, oh, it's just pure sugar. Um, <laughs> but they just, they had shirts there. They had, um, and I was just laughing at all the shirts they had. They have really funny stuff there, too. And then there's also, like, you know, the whole Texas, you know, uh, section of things. Uh, it's kind of like a Bucky's, Like, not as big as one, but, like, that has a variety of different stuff has a lot that was of in it. A lot of nice stuff. Yeah, a lot of nice stuff. So I'm having a f hard time finding this one, right? So you have to give me a, a minute. Is this a Petro? No, it's Duke's Mount Vernon. Okay, it is a TA. Oh. Okay, so I did find it. Had to cut away to find it because it took me a little bit. But this parking lot, I think you got to pay maybe $10. I don't remember. Or maybe buy enough stuff and have the receipt in the window. I don't recall. But this has a concrete parking lot. There's not that many spots there. But it is perfectly flat. Like, I mean, it is nice. It's considered a TA. The store inside is really nice. So, I, me personally, if you don't mind paying for parking, definitely worth your money. So, I'm definitely going to add this one. Because I, I love going in there just to look around. And I'll give you like a little screen, like a zoom out so you can see about where it is. I want to say it's like the eastern part of the northern part of Texas here. Yeah, you can see it right there. All right, Simon, what else you got for us? In Hansville, Alabama. Alabama. Every time I say, or, you know, see or say Alabama, I was Alabama. Like, I have to say it with an accent. Um, so there's the Dodge City Petro, which uh, this one is a lot of fun, too, just because of all the different stuff that they have. Again, there's different, you know, signs and woodworking things, and they have a bunch of different kinds of food, which... By the way, I think almost every time I've stopped here, I've gotten their maple fudge, which is my absolute favorite. <laughs> uh, and they're really nice. The first time actually I was there, the woman at the, around behind the counter was not very nice. But other than that first experience, like going there from then on, like it, the person that was working there was absolutely sweet. She grabbed whatever fudge I wanted. Anyways, it's a really cool place there that we like in Alabama. Okay, here it is. I was looking at the wrong spot. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the satellite image and then uh, zoom in here. Really big parking lot. Um, I liked it inside. Yeah. It, it's kind of like that one in Texas, but not quite there, but it is still pretty dang nice. Western looking. I love that kind of stuff. That's probably why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom out to give you a little rough idea where it's at northern part of uh, uh alabama yeah <laughs> all right in brunswick georgia right where the it's north of the florida georgia line uh this is a ta and uh sometimes when we go down to florida we'll stop here it's absolutely gorgeous they have a ton of palm trees and if you follow the channel you know how much of a fan i am of palm trees they're absolutely gorgeous there uh but what town's that in? That is in Brunswick, Georgia. Okay, I think we found her. Yep. Yeah, and this one, it seemed fairly new too. The parking lot was very nice. And I know we got a picture somewhere of some uh, palm trees. Not a real big parking lot, but it's big enough to do the job if you get there on time. 
All right, the next one is a Flying J in Pembroke, New York. So Flying J in Pembroke, New York. Uh, this is actually, um, whenever you go out east, it's harder to get truck stops and stuff to find different ones, especially depending on what your hours are for doing driver swaps. Um, that can be tricky because for us, we like to do it around midnight or, you know, anytime between midnight and 2 a.m. Um, or during the noon hours, you know, when we do the other uh, driver swap, it's not as bad. But a lot of times, depending on the truck stop, it's very hard to find a parking spot where you can do your driver swap. So this is one that we like in New York um, where we usually do a driver swap yeah. in the front area. Yeah, we'll go to the RV section and uh, just get it done real quick. So that way we don't take up a, a regular truck sp spot just in case somebody's actually trying to stop for the night. Yeah, you know? so they can go to sleep and stuff. Yeah, because most of the time there's not normal RVers. I mean, if you see an RV at a truck stop, it's usually an RV transporter. And uh, I don't mind parking in the RV section just because uh, we need to switch when we need to switch. Otherwise, we can get in trouble by the law and get some fines, and it's not worth it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So, speaking of out east, uh, in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, there's this pilot there, um, and no matter what, there's never any parking. <laughs> but it's one of the very few, you know, truck stops that's out there. And even though we really don't like this truck stop, we frequent it a lot. And the reason why we don't like it is the parking situation, and plus it's very small inside, so it only has minimal things. Mm -hmm. Plus, I don't know how your bathroom is, but the ladies' bathroom is just one stall, and I hate having to feel like I have to, like... So the building's really old. It's oh, almost it's so... almost seems like it was an old house or something. Yeah, and they started, uh, they did constructions to try and... Um, or construction to try and I think they're making you know, it bigger big the you know making the parking lot bigger and stuff but even once that's done if it's not already we haven't been there in a while yeah um it, even when it's done they're still going to be hard to find parking spots just, just because, because far and few out east yeah, yeah it's really hard to find a truck stop out there uh so that one's in Massachusetts next one is in DuPont Pennsylvania this is a Petro um and this is actually where we like to do a driver swap also in the front there um and this one we haven't been there in a while um and you'll hear me say that for a couple of these truck stops not because they aren't good but because we've been staying in a certain area um but so this one in dupont pennsylvania the last time we were there uh i guess the truck didn't put on its truck brakes and it actually ran like started going forward and ran into the building and damaged the building yeah and so it had just happened when the last time we were there and we talked to a guy that didn't they still like pay for him you know since he basically was out of jobs since they couldn't have that building open oh yeah one of the workers so yeah. basically yeah they're paying him to do pretty much nothing little task or whatever yeah. Right. So I don't know if they've already uh, fixed that building or not. Um, but yeah, that was just a very interesting story and that it just really sucks yeah. for all parties involved. So when we come here, we normally park in the RV section again to do a driver swap. Right. So. So the next one is in Columbia, New Jersey. And this one is a TA. And if you are on our truck and travel uh instagram it's truck and travel youtube i think i got a picture of me in a big like oversized chair in front of a mcdonald's this is actually where that was and um so they have this really big parking lot and in the back part of it there's an alley that you can walk to and that takes you to the other side where there's actually a mcdonald's but beware because the person up front she tried to charge me for a cup of water and I'm like, oh, no, you don't charge for a cup of water, just a bottle. And she goes, no, you charge for water. And I, and I, I didn't want to argue with her, but I'm like, okay, can you ask a manager? You know, and then he came up front and he's like, yeah, you don't charge that for that. So beware. <laughs> but anyways, there's the McDonald's, you know, conveniently located there. Um, they do have a lot of pumps there. Um, I think we've showered there before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, it, and it was fine. And actually... The, the workers were very funny. I'm not making fun of her at all, but there's a worker there who I remember told us a story because she is scared of birds. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so I don't want to make fun of her or anything because I'm scared. Of, everybody's scared of something, you know? Yeah. Comment below if you're scared of birds so you can relate to her. <laughs> so that was in New Jersey. Another one that we like, uh, it's in Rollins, uh, Wyoming. So this is going all the way back over the, to west. Uh, so it's R-A-W-L-I-N-S. So I don't know if I'm saying that right. Rollin, maybe. Wyoming. It's, a, uh, pilot. it's a flying J. It's a flying J. Um, so this one... When when we head out west, there's um, there's you know there's a good amount of truck stops I think, but there are certain times where there's a long you know period. So you definitely have to plan your trips, like what where you're gonna stop and all that. And this one is uh, one that we, whenever we go out west, we do stop here, and that's where we do our driver swap. Sometimes. Okay, I found it. It's right here. After I uh, select it and save it, we'll uh, go ahead and zoom out so you can get a better idea. It's along Interstate 80 here. And uh, when we do a driver swap, because again, there's usually nobody here at nighttime. If we stop here to do a driver swap, we'll usually park right there out front. That's what that one looks like. And uh, I'll zoom out so you can get a better idea where at in the state it is. All right, there you go. So it's about south and the central along I-80 there. So next we're gonna hop over to Illinois. This one is in Greenville, Illinois, it's a Loves. And this one, um, whenever we're in this part of the country, it's basically just a pit stop um, where, uh, you know, if we need to stop, it's not. It's not um, so it's like right before St. Louis, so it's not going to be as hectic, you know. And yeah, we don't like to stop in city truck stops, yeah. um, just because they're so crowded and there's just a lot of people who will walk up to your truck, and we just don't like that. And we're, I'm not saying that people, you know, that to say hi, but I'm saying like people who walk up to you. And I'm not even going to start it on the breadstick story. Um, so, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is in Greenville, Illinois, and this is where we like to do a driver swap too. If if we need to. If we need to, yeah. yeah if we're in the area, I need to. So the next one is in Beckley, West Virginia. This is one of my favorite places to go to. Uh, I've been going to this place ever since uh, I was doing RV transport, and uh, they even have a special place for. Uh, uh, campers to park and even though I was doing RV transport one of the workers suggested that I just park back there and it was really nice because you know it's away from the semi truck so it's quieter and uh, but it's a longer walk to the actual travel plaza oh, yeah do you remember didn't we walk like all the way there and something was closed during like the beginning of all the shutdowns and stuff you know what I I'm I don't remember I do that was a long <laughs> <laughs> long, long walk. Okay, but um, the parking lot is not that far if you're if you're parking in the truck trucking part. But this is actually a Beckley Travel Plaza, yeah. and right when you walk in, I don't know if they still do this, but they had like fresh popcorn yeah. and just like different knickknacks and stuff. That and they had this separate uh, store. Like after you walk through the main one, there's one off to the side. And I remember I got different postcards and stuff that I was able to save, like send home to my family, like when I was yeah sending different state postcards but i don't that. know if you can see the screen that i'm looking at but right here is where the rvs and the campers park and then there's like a nice restaurant in here but i never ate in there That's i've been we in tried. there we oh. walked all the way out there but yep you can i know we've parked along this road right here with some semis and whatnot and then when we're doing hot shotting i think i don't know but Actually, yeah. I think we walked to a McDonald's or something. Like, it was a lot longer of a walk, wasn't it? No McDonald's here. No. There's a Burger King inside the one store. But it might have been the Burger King. Maybe. It seemed like a long walk, but maybe not. Okay. And then, uh, Natalia, Texas. N-A-T-A-L-I-A. -A -A. Natalia. And this is, that. like, I love. slightly south and uh, west of uh, San Antonio. San Antonio. Um, so... We really like this one. There was a, I think we were, we were there for almost a week one time when we were in Texas. Yeah. It, it, it was for a while because what happened was, man, that, that Mexican restaurant stand that was like across the street. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it was a restaurant, you know, and they had like places to sit and stuff. Um, it was, it was outdoors. Right, yeah, it was outdoors, but it was perfect. 
Oh, it was. And we kept going there yeah. <laughs> because it was so delicious. Oh, it was so good. Oh, I'm almost like salivating thinking about it. I think um, we had a load that dropped off at yeah, Laredo, Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we, then we uh, this one's along I-35. Okay. Yeah. Right. Man, that was so good. Um, all right. And then the last one that we're going to go over is actually in Weed, California. Yeah, this is like Northern California. And there's the a pilot. Yeah. The really cool thing about this one is, is like there's a really awesome uh, mountain behind it. And mm -hmm. you said this one is a pilot? It's a pilot in Weed, California. And yeah, that mountain, you can take awesome pictures with it in the background. And <laughs> and actually just, um, this was, I think during this time, you and I were trying to take more walks and stuff. Um, and so we were actually able to like walk a little ways and go across the street and they had different shops and stuff, um, in the area of just, just different stuff. And I think that they kind of go off of, uh, the city's name and stuff to do like funny oh, gimmicks. And... <laughs> yeah. Like shirts and all that other stuff. So, um, but it was absolutely gorgeous out there and it just, I don't know, sometimes when you're able to park and see the mountains and that kind of stuff, it takes away from just like, being on the road and just seeing trucks and you know what I mean? And sometimes, yeah, only being able to see trucks. It's nice to see like mountains and I don't know, change of scenery is always nice. So. Okay. I finally found it. I have it saved on uh, a different app and it was just a little bit harder for me to find on this, but yeah, I like to park where you can uh, face mountain. So if you're just, you know, have the front windshield not, you know, blocked from the visors. You can just look outside and just check it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see on this app. The, I mean, you should be able to. But if I could find it anyways, there it is. There's that big, massive mountain. How do you say, how do you say that one? Oh, Mount Shasta. There you go. Just like that. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. I mean, that's a must-see right there, just that mountain. So is that the last one then? That's the last one. All right, let's, uh, so I'm gonna click on the screen here and I'm gonna take away all of the places. So that way the only thing that shows up is uh, our little things that we, uh, I can't unmark it, I guess, but, or maybe I can, it's just my phone's acting up on me. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's all of our little things we got selected here in the United States. So that's kind of cool. Big spread. Yeah. So like yeah, that. if you guys want to follow along, you can download the Trucker app and uh, add those little locations and then uh, you can get an idea and see what we see and all the information we get to see. Well, I have a link in the bo in the description. Uh, that'll be for our, uh, there's be a discount code if you want to buy their for further services like their load board and some other cool features that they may have. Um, but here's where we're currently at right now. But yeah, if you have like a Apple phone, where do they go? Apple store? Something like that. I'm an that. Android person. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you Apple about. people do, but wherever you go for <laughs> your apps, look up Trucker Path and then for the Android, you just go to Google store whatever and uh, yeah, look up trigger path yeah <laughs> but yeah guys thank you so much for hanging out with us we just kind of wanted to share some of the our hot spots that we like to go in the united states well it's the only place we really drive anymore so yeah there's some cool places if you go to some of these places you uh might see us just keep your eyes peeled yeah well guys thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, if you're not subscribed and you enjoyed this video for some reason, subscribe. <laughs> Hit the, the bell button for notifications, and then uh, we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> hey, oh. look at the mountain. <laughs>